Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Breaking news, Rusty Rasmus has officially confirmed that talks to bring Siaklisi back to the Sharks from Racing are currently underway with SA Rugby being involved in these talks and that a deal is currently being discussed and talked about by the various parties to bring the South African uh, captain back to South Africa and be based in South Africa, a move which is being supported by SA Rugby. Um, we don't quite know what the logistics are going to be, what the financials, for example, are going to be with regards to are SA Rugby going to um, help pay a release fee, for example, what's going to happen. But uh, Rusty Rasmus, in his press conference this morning, um, after announcing the Springbok squad, confirming that there are talks happening, um, that uh, they did ask them to be involved, him and SA Rugby, and that uh, from an SA Rugby point of view, they very much do want him to be back in South Africa and uh, that they want our captain to be based here. Um, so we wait and see if this will happen, but uh, the talks are on. Before we get into some of the details, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So what do we know? We know that, that Sia Khaleesi was bought by Racing about uh, just over a year ago. Um, they apparently had to pay quite a large transfer fee, basically buying him out of his contract at... Um, at the Sharks um, to bring him over in a, in a big move, uh, a big sort of money move as well as a big profile move over to Racing. He moved over to Paris and he began to play uh, at the end of 2023 after winning the World Cup for a second time. And, uh, you know, you think about when you go and get a high profile signing, you know, him going and winning the World Cup is exactly the kind of uh, PR sort of hype and stuff. You know, they, 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 they signed essentially the biggest name in rugby. And uh, unfortunately for him, uh, didn't quite have the season he would like to have done. He had a couple of injuries, um, didn't play badly. I mean, when it, I, you know, to be fair, I didn't, wa I didn't watch a lot, but apparently was under, quite underwhelming um, for a large part of the season and uh, was subject to attacks by the owner uh, who called him overweight and transparent in that sort of that, that, that quarterfinal game against uh, Bordeaux Begley. And uh, there was then a, uh, a story that broke last week. Um, we spoke about the fact that apparently he has had showdown talks with Racing and said that he wants to leave and he wants to come back and uh, wants to basically come back to the Sharks. Um, now, the biggest issues, and this is where sort of the financials become a big thing, is that he still got, he signed a long-term contract with Racing. And given the fact that they paid for his contract you know, out of the Sharks, you know, the, the assumption is that um, they will once get, that there will be a big payout needed to be able to get him out of his wrestling contract and get him back to the Sharks. Now, it's been an interesting reaction to this. You know, obviously, ideally, you know, this is a move that we want to happen. You know, we want him playing in the country. You know, we want, uh, as Sharks fans, you'll want to play like C.A. Khaleesi. Who wouldn't? Um, and, uh, you know, from a, a pure playing point of view, it's a move that just makes all, all the sense in the world financially that's where the issue comes you know and a lot of people talking about the fact that we don't we, we shouldn't see SA rugby buying out the Ecclesi from 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 France and, and paying for him to come back to play in South Africa because that money could potentially go where it is maybe more needed um you know than a player who's coming to the twilights <clears throat> of his career for example not in his prime he is still eligible for example to play for the Marks despite playing outside the country so it's not like you know you he's not playing for the Marks and now this big money move is going to make him eligible you know that's not the case and a lot of people saying that the money could be spent um, better elsewhere. So it's now at this this continued sort of um, you know weight weighing up the different options. You know, Sierkley is the player. You know, is he worth the money? For example, the presence, the experience. You know, is he marketable enough to, for example, pay for the move with regards to the exposure he brings to the Sharks and 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 sort of the marketing they can do off him. That's obviously going to come into the conversation. You know, because he is a massive marketing pool, being able to slap him on posters, you know, sponsors wanting to be involved in, in one of the biggest names in rugby. So, you know, there's a lot to 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 uh, to go through, but um, we will obviously continue sort of monitoring it. It basically sounds like the, the talks are very much happening. Um, they're not concluded yet, but from all the senses we're getting, the move is going to happen and that he will be playing for the Sharks next season, which, as if my playing perspective, is incredible. John Plumtree must be over the moon. Um, you know, got some serious, seriously good um, options going into next season. And it uh, looks like Sia is going to be added to what was already really good options. Emmanuel Tuka, for example, making that move. They've still got a, a Vincent Tuka who hasn't quite settled in yet um, consistently. So he might probably potentially even have to ship to lock, but they've got, um, you know, a, 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 a couple of players coming back. You know, Jason Jenkins coming in, for example. So lots of big names at the Sharks next season and uh, looking to try and add the biggest name 
of them all. I wonder what you think. Should they bring him back? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Um, thank you very much, everybody. And we'll see you guys all next time.